Russell Wilson. Sean Payne had wanted him off the roster so badly, he informed him he was being fired the second the new year, new league year starts next week. Wilson signed a five-year, $242 million contract extension with yeah. the team last September. Yeah. That begins this season. Yes. As a result, the Broncos will take a dead cap hit of $85 million over the next two years, they have the choice once the league year begins how they want to divide that up. Yeah, it's, I mean, seemingly a backbreaker for the Broncos. And I don't know how they fix this. And I, I'm i a little surprised because we all watched Russell Wilson his first year in Denver. And that, that was ugly. But they, they blamed that on Nathaniel Hackett. And blamed it on Hackett. Yeah. And Peyton came in and it didn't automatically fix things. But it seemed to get better. And Wilson seemed to be, uh, certainly not worth that money, but you're willing to take that kind of dead cap hit just to have him gone. And, and what's the replacement? Jared Stidham? Yes, it is. Mac right Jones? now, Jared Stidham Stiggy. is your starter. <laughs> which, which they probably should have did before. Uh, by the way, I, I just wanted to say I think this was the worst trade in NFL history. You've, uh, Russell Wilson from the yep. Seahawks. To now, the people will bring up the Herschel Walker trade. Trey, the, the Trey Lance trade was not good, but at least they didn't waste any money and they're out of it. Yeah. Right? This one here was uh, five picks, two first rounders, three players for Wilson. He got $242 million. They basically spent the $85 million in the dead cap space. He won 11 games for a total of $124 million guaranteed. They paid three times more per win then the 49ers will pay for Brock Purdy's entire four-year contract. You know what the lasting image of Russell Wilson is? You know the the last game he played as a Denver Bronco was that 26-23 loss to one of the worst Patriots teams in the last 25 years. It's a big zappy night. Yeah. He had a 37. and And then you remember after that game, the Broncos approached him 48 hours later and wanted him to negotiate out that big injury clause in his contract. It would have paid him $37 million that would kick in for 2025 if he was hurt. They came to him and said, you know what? We want you to get rid of that. Otherwise, we're going to sit you down. We don't want to risk you getting hurt. He didn't renegotiate, and they got rid of him at their first possible chance to do so. So Russell Wilson says he's still got uh, some of his best football left in him and uh, wants to play somewhere, and I – I, I have no idea where that guy could or would end up. I, I can't. Patriots. <sighs> no, I, I I would seriously look at it. He's going to make no money. Yeah, you don't have to pay him anything. He, he, he had, look at, if you just looked at his numbers, forget about what you see on the field, he had a pretty decent year. Yes. Like, the guy doesn't suck. Let's at least say but, that. Well, okay, to uh, – in what role? Because you, you – you can't think of him as being your starting quarterback for the next yeah. three years. Pump and dump. That's what I look at. He plays up, builds himself up, puts up some good numbers. You know, maybe he – because his legacy is on the line. Let's so face you, it. This you, guy's need, a, you need him uh, to be here for a year yeah. as you develop the the rookie that you're yeah. going to draft. Because he's going to – him to tutor he, a younger yeah, player. Yeah, and he's going to use you too. I mean, no, I, I hear you. But who? How many guys can't can come in here and tutor? You know, Joe Flacco. Because when he sucks, they're going to be begging for the guy behind him. You know, Gardner Minshew's going to outplay the next guy. There, there's no right answer for the veteran. So, like, this is why I'm saying, why not Russell Wilson? And hey, if Atlanta, if Atlanta's the spot, then Atlanta's the spot because they need a quarterback too. And I'm sure he could go into that situation. Maybe he's familiar. Um, I don't know. Would Washington look at him with, with, with Quinn? I don't know. It, it seems to me that Russell Wilson has a oversized ego that won't allow him to accept anything less than I'm the guy, get this young kid away from me. Uh, yeah, to me, he's not a locker room guy at all. You remember when he showed up in Denver before Peyton was there, he had an, his own office in the team facility. He didn't even bother hanging out at his locker. He would go up to his office two floors above that. That's not a guy I want in my locker room, especially when you have a massively young roster that is in need of leadership. I don't want that guy. He needs to rehabilitate his career. He's a subpar Hall of Famer at the moment. Um, he He thought he was going the Peyton Manning route. 
He thought he was going to win Super Bowls, you know, compete every year, go to the Broncos, bring them back. It didn't work out. Mr. Unlimited. You have a first-year head coach, a first-year, really a first-year offensive coordinator. Van Pelt was an offensive coordinator, but he didn't call plays in Cleveland. Stefanski did. You have those two guys finding their way, and you're going to dump that guy into the mix? Not a chance. It's Mr. Unlimited, (laughs) Tom. I remember at the Super Bowl, Kendrick Bourne, who got, a, by the way, a contract uh, offer Mm -hmm. at the Combine, said, hey, who would you want to see as your quarterback next year? And he mentioned one of the names, Russell Wilson. Sure, he would. So like that's Russell Wilson. that's some. A re, he's going to make zero money. I, I get what you're saying. Hey, this guy can he be a you know an influence in the locker it's room? It's not about money. It's not about money that. with him. It's I I don't care how much he I, makes. He could make the veteran minimum, and maybe he'd play for that with a chance to rehab his image. But he's going to be the starting quarterback on a team that's going to win what five six games. Uh, I. He's not going to – put it this way. I don't know how he's – He's he's not going to help you in any way other than being a placeholder until you get the guy ready, preferably Mm -hmm. away from Russell Wilson. But I I think he needs that too. Okay. Like I don't think he can just say, I'm going here and I'm going to be the starter. 